welcome to Otaku No Video. As always, thanks for joining me. Time for some news. In a huge surprise, I think no one saw this coming, Media Blasters has licensed fan favorite Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. Yes, the screwball black comedy will be subtitled only, it looks like. DVDs and Blu-ray coming out soon. And uh, the, the, the cool thing about this is, uh, I mean, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei is just really, really hard to follow unless you understand Japanese. So, I don't think that it could be released in English dub and and done justice. And that's nothing against dub voice actors. It's a, it's a very Japanese show. So, mm. uh, Also, the Kitty Media label, which is part of Media Blasters, they're going to release the uncensored version of Urotsuki Doji, the legend of the Overfiend, the, the legendary uh, horror porn title. The weird thing is they're also going to release the movie version, which is cut down and kind of edited and, and, and less extreme. So why you'd want that, I just don't know. Meanwhile, Evangelion is, is still popular to no one's surprise. Uh, the Japanese version of Amazon has received 88,000 pre-orders for Evangelion 2.22, the second film. Uh, and about half of these came on the first day, about 40,000 pre-orders on the first day alone. So yeah, a lot of folks are pre-ordering this. Uh, in case you hadn't seen, 2.22 is going to uh, contain some slight tweaking of the video and some other material which hasn't been defined yet. So, yeah, it's going to be like Evangelion 1.11. I hope we don't have Evangelion 4.44 because that's just kind of stupid. But oh well. Another update, as mentioned earlier, James Cameron's Battle Angel Alita film is still in the pre-production phase. They're still moving forward with that. Well, its producer has now stated that they are definitely planning to head into production on Battle Angel Alita right after James Cameron's done with Avatar 2. And yes, there's going to be an Avatar 2. Don't act like that's a big surprise. Of course, original Avatar took 10 years to make. So, anyway. Uh, but uh, Alita is right there. You know, they are planning on doing that. Uh, he did mention that uh, Guillermo del Toro is the one who originally turned on James Cameron to the, the Alita manga. And or the Gunnam manga, and that when they when they got it, they said we got we got to do a movie out of this. And when they started reading the manga, they realized, wow, there's a lot to this, and we can't just make a movie out of it. We got we got to really think about how to get across all of this stuff in a movie. Um, so it's it's gonna you know, it's gonna take some you know more figuring than than we thought. So Alita definitely coming, hopefully. Finally, the Walt Disney Corporation has confirmed they'll be putting all of the Studio Ghibli titles that they have on their on their roster on Blu-ray sometime this year. So expect to see Kiki's and Totoro and all those on Blu-ray coming soon. Now, normally I'm a little skeptical of this with older anime because the original source material is usually not that high quality to begin with. So you put it on Blu-ray and it, it you know the the higher quality of the format doesn't make the original stuff any better. You know, it's still grainy because the original is grainy. You you, you know you can't degrain it uh, unless you do a lot of tweaking and fiddling and so forth. But even then, yeah. So uh, the advantage though is that Studio Ghibli's stuff is um, usually stored in a pretty high quality system. So hopefully we'll see something pretty pretty cool there. And um, I mean Nausicaa maybe not, but still I mean that that's that's pretty cool and that's that's a nice thing to know about these days.